when we were running the simulation, uh, I was playing around with different settings and looking at the runoff. Um, and what I was noticing was um, different areas such as forest and shrub lands were very similar. So I wanted to set up um, sort of a little experiment to see, dive a little deeper into the differences. Um, because as I was sort of planning, I knew I was going to use erosion bottles because I really liked that setup um, that we were given, uh, that concept that really lets you see uh, the runoff. Um, and then I went outside and I, I was looking around and we have this conversation uh, about this one area of our backyard where it's currently mulched and I can't stand it. And I would much prefer to have grass in that area. So I thought, huh, that might be really interesting to look at if, if that makes uh, not just a visual impact in my yard, but if it makes an impact um, on, on the planet, um, if it's going to impact our ecosystem, if the runoff would be different, um, if I took that mulched area and changed it and put grass there too. Um, I think this ties back really well, this little experiment that I'm going to do here, ties back to uh, PA Steel Standard 3.3.6-8M. Okay, and because we haven't memorized all those numbers, um, that is uh, middle school earth and space science. Um, it states that uh, students should apply scientific principles to design a method for monitoring and minimizing human impact on the environment. Perfect. I'm going to see if what I have in my yard is going to make a difference uh, runoff wise for for the area. Um, I think this is huge because Steels really focuses on that human impact on Earth. Um, and the essential question that ties back here is how, how do humans change the planet? How are we making an impact? So I wanted to test that. So I have here um, in my one bottle, I don't know if you can see it great. This is just dug out of my yard, <laughs> soil with the grass. And then over here is uh, the mulch. So what I am going to do is for the sake of time, I'm not going to sit here with you and do all my experiment. I will not fit in the four minute time frame, but I have measured out uh, two cups of water for each. I'm going to sl pour slowly so they don't run over because these are only eight ounce cups. We'll see how things go. I'll do the experiment. I'll wait come back and let you know how it went. All right, the follow-up, the results of the experiment. All right, so here, the much clearer water, that's the runoff water from the soil and grass. And then over here, the kind of dirty stuff um, is the runoff from the mulch. I did go ahead and use a ruler to measure the height, uh, how much physical runoff um, came out of each erosion bottle. Um, and what I found was the mulch uh, was higher. There was more of it. It was uh, 5.1 centimeters. And then the grass water um, was 4.7, 4.8 centimeters. So there was more physical water uh, running off through the the mulch um and if i was to do this again um there's a few things that i would do um if i were to do another round what i would do this time is find some sort of mechanism to slow drip i did end up pouring i only did ended up with one cup in each because it became very clear that it was going to overflow and and be a mess um but I, I would find some way to do a slow drip. Um, the other thing that I would consider is I don't, I don't have a dis um, dissolved solids meter. If I had a dissolved solids meter, what I would do is also measure the dissolved solids in each, um, cause that's something that would make a big impact too. If one or the other was allowing a lot of different dissolved solids to run off into other areas, um, very applicable to our backyard. Um, because we, we do end up with a lot of uh, flooded areas because of the angle um, that our land is on. If I were to take that piece of data as well, I would also have more numbers, right? Going at Vasquez's 
um, categories, like how things tie into STEM, ways that we can think um, like a STEM person. Um, in math, we we use quantitative reasoning. So when we have numbers, we can do something with them. We can compare values. So if I have not just the height, how much water, but if I also have dissolved solids, that's another thing that I can do. And then I can also use that and turn around and, um, and use that to support an argument, take my data and my numbers and support a viable argument for what should I or should I not use in my backyard, which is another math principle. Um, as far as technology goes, um, this can absolutely tie in um, with making informed decisions about technology um, as it comes available. So if there's some new thing that I can put in my backyard to help either the amount of runoff or the amount of dissolved solids heading out into my yard, then, then that's new technology. And that's something that really ties in with this particular activity. Um, and as far as science and engineering, we're doing a lot of things right here. We're asking questions, we're developing and using models. Um, so it, we're thinking like a scientist here when we're doing our erosion bottles and looking at these different types of soils um, and how that can impact how humans, what we do with our soils can impact runoff um, and impact the environment around us.